Look at this friendship. This was a nice idea, you guys. So for the first time, la primera vez in about two, three years. It's been it's been a long time. I spoke to my mother on the phone. Who's that walking in the stroller? Woohoo! Look at that hot mama. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so we're here at Cheeseburger in Paradise with Cynthia, Samara, and you guys just saw Julie walking. She just got here. Hi, Dunnies and Dunnies. <laughs> Duns and Dunnies. <laughs> Samara. No. You don't want to look? Samara's too into everything that's going on. There she is. Uh, there's hey, Julie. Girl. Hey, lover. Sorry. Hey, Sam. We, <laughs> we take up so much space with Mama. these children. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? It's a good thing it's a weekday and nobody is really here. Anyway, so we're in Cheeseburger Paradise with my besties. I am so hungry. I haven't eaten since when did I say? I ate a hot pocket. ate a hot pocket. And an orange, because I couldn't take my hunger. So, we're here. Hi, hi. Can you make your mess feel? It's boring. Yeah. boring, right? Okay. I like your outfit. Oh, look at Zoe. Oh, you look so fussy. What? Tia Cynthia is feeding you? Look at her. Cynthia playing games with Tamara. <laughs> Doing a rip out your arm, right, mamas? She's <laughs> Sam. Look at this big hey, girl. Mama. I have the Cuban. The Cuban Sam? Yes. Did you ask this guy if he wants to be recorded? Huh? I'm recording Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind being recorded? <laughs> uh, for your Cuban sandwich, would you like that with French fries or like the What other sides do you have? I kind of want that. Uh, we can do a side of sweet potato fries. We can also do oh, potato, he said sweet potato. Broccoli. She said, no, I'll have fries. fries mm -hmm. I'm going to have the pineapple express. Pineapple express. Would you like that with a side of the fries or would you like the cheese? No, she doesn't want coleslaw. Oh, no coleslaw. And I'll have the Malibu wrap. Malibu wrap? The fries. Thank you. Woo! So the smuggler spider should be coming out soon? Thank you. Beautiful Zoe. Beautiful Zoe, say hi to YouTube. Hi, Princess Zoe. Hi, Princess Zoe. Oh, Hi, beautiful eyes. <gasps> Let's zoom in on your eyes. So staring at me pretty, like... mama. Look, look at this friendship. This friendship we have going on over here. Hi. Hi. Cynthia got the Cuban. I did. Julie got. Oh, the pulled no, pork. You need, you need a better angle. You need, the, you need the pineapple. Oh, you got all oh, the pineapple. That's not yours, Samara. <laughs> Anything else you can do for you, ladies? Um, no, we're good for now. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Here, cheeseburger in paradise. So we just finished eating, and I left like my whole wrap. My wrap wasn't that good, to be honest. And Cynthia is an Indian giver. She gave me her Cuban sandwich and took it back. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were full. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be my dinner. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I said I was full, so I didn't want it. And this is nice. This was a nice idea, you guys. Wasn't it? It was a nice idea. It's such a nice, beautiful day today. It's like October, and it's how many? It was gonna be 82 degrees today. 86. It was like 85. Right now it's like low 70s. I mean high 70s. So. 86. Oh, you see? So it's like 85 today. Hi Zoe. Zoe has been a perfect little angel. I'm gonna use your subjects too. Hey, perfect little angel. Hi. Oh, the other one next to me. 
And then here's the crazy girl. She's good, but she's just have more hyper than Zoe. You see? Like, what is she saying? I'm waiting for Julie. She wants to get the car. She was parked like on the other section. And I'm here with Cynthia and Samara. She's almost. She almost got it. Titi. She's almost there. I feel it. Titi. <laughs> Titi, you see? She's just missing the sound. But here's where that change of mentality comes into play. But aquí donde la el cambio de mentalidad entra. The change of maturity comes into play. La madurez entra. Because unless you believe the Bible is a written fact. A menos que usted crea que la Biblia es un hecho escrito que es Unless you believe this Bible is truly life. Que si a menos que usted crea que la Biblia es verdaderamente You cannot understand the magnitude of the words in it. I don't know what form and example you need as a Christian. Yo no sé qué otro ejemplo necesito como cristiano. To have someone do your work for you. To show you how to do your job. When you get a job in real life, you usually get trained. They teach you how to do it. You go and you get paid. Christianity is no different. We literally have our training manual right in front of us. Teaching us everything that we need to do as Christians. We have somebody who's done it before. And we all know we're getting paid in the end. Even during life. There's plenty of blessings. And there's one big blessing waiting for us at the end of the whole world. So for the first time. In about. Two, three years. It's been, it's been a long time. I spoke to my mother on the phone. For those of you who don't know, my mother's been sick for quite a while. My mother has been sick No, sick So she's had this brain, they call it mangioma, I guess you call it a tumor for lack of Spanish words. I told you guys before, this has been something that's crippled her as an individual. It's given her seizures. She sensitized one side of her body. And it got bad to the point where she lost her hearing completely. Mind you, I just put a sunny eye. I spoke to her like last week. But she lost her hearing completely. Pero ella no escuchaba completamente, perdió eh, el oído. I think we can all relate when we get to that point in life where we're just wondering why God. Y ahora pues, podemos estar en el mismo zapato. Una vez decimos por qué Dios. Or we start questioning is, is there really a God? Y comenzamos a preguntarnos si realmente Dios está ahí. And if so, why? Y decimos por qué entonces. So I, I testify to you guys. Yo les testifico a ustedes. I let you guys know. Yo les doy a ustedes saber. And you guys, in return, have prayed. Y te he orado por, por situaciones. Like, you come up to me like, Dominic, I've been praying for your mother. Y te he dicho, Dominic, yo he orado por tu mamá. You know, give her my last name, it's for her. Pero tú me dices, you know, hang in there. Sigue adelante. No te rindo. And I, in return. Y yo, en eso. Take seed number one. He cogido la semilla. And bring it over to her. Y se la he traído a ella. And so my mom, hey, you know, these people at the church are praying for you. He dicho, mami, la gente está orando por ti. Probably during Bible class, you know, everybody down the circle, you know, I petition for your health. Yo le dicho, cuando lo viene la Biblia, yo le pido una oración por ti. No, I don't want to hear that. Y le dice, no, no, no quiero escuchar eso. That's my mother. Esa es mi mamá. It gets a lot more deeper and uglier than that. Eh, se pone más feo que ella. But she was angry. Pero ella estaba. She didn't want to hear it. Ella no quería escuchar eso. But because you guys were praying, pero porque estaba orando, that helped enforce me to want to pray. Eso me ayudó a mí a querer orar también. Because my accountability, porque mi responsabilidad, didn't give up on the purpose. No me dejó eh, quedar el propósito. Nor did I. Ni yo tampoco. And thus this would translate over to my mother. Para que se llegara mi mamá. So another week, again, another brother and sister. Otro hermano, otro hermano. How's your mother? I'm praying for her. ¿Cómo está tu mamá? Estoy orando por ella. I bring it back to my mother. Y le digo a mi mamá. And it was a couple of weeks of, no, I don't want to hear this, no, I don't want to hear that. Y un par de semanas ya decía, yo quiero escuchar eso. Who's God? Que es Dios. If I knew somebody was at the, the point of no return, 
Si yo conocía el primer punto de ya, I saw it in my mother during her time of sitting. Quiero que lo vea mi mamá en ese tiempo. But as time, as I kept telling her, "Mom, we're going to pray for you." Pero cuando yo decía, "Vamos a orar, mamá, mami, vamos a orar por ti." My grandmother, who's a, a pastora, mi abuela que era una pastora, coming over to pray, iba a la casa a orar. It, it sunk in. Things started to change. La cosa a cambiar. The atmosphere of where she was at started to change. La atmosfera en su, su pensar, so there might have been darkness within her own home. Posiblemente había tinieblas dentro de la casa. But slowly we were bringing in light. Pero chinga chinga se movía. It started at the church. The church provided a big lump. La iglesia dio un buen pedazo. And you can think of it as like little buckets of water. You guys get a big barrel. I'm there, I'm carrying it. And I'm getting to the house, and you know, water's falling here and there. And you know, I have enough to provide to the house. And I'm making my trips back and forth. And that light is slowly, 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 slowly filling the house. I remember telling you guys, there was at one point I got into the house. De un momento yo entré a la casa. And I heard Christian music playing. Y yo escuché un set de piano radio. Hey, playing. Okay, I'm like. Uh, Wrong house. You know, my mom, I'm okay here, so I'm gonna see ya. Mi mamá no puede escuchar el piano. But I hear it playing. Pero yo lo escucho que está sonando. She's in the bathroom, she's doing her hair. Y el mamá está ahí haciendo el pelo. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to. We, I, I call it charades. That's what I had to learn how to do because we, she didn't know sign language at the time. Yo usaba un poco más de brazos porque ya como que no sabía usar eh, señales. O sea, que, you know you got the, the music on, right? Yo le dije, ¿tú tienes la música puesta? Y dice, ¿qué hay, no? Y le dijo, sí, yo sé. I was like, I was like, oh. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, okay. She's like, no, no, don't worry about it, mijo. I'm going to be hearing it sometime soon. Y le dijo, no, 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 no. She went from, for, for lighter words, screw God. Ella fue de un momento de decir, mantecía a Dios. So don't worry, I'll be hearing about his praises soon. And again, I go back to the whole point of believing that the word is life. It's so easy to read the word and believe it's just a story. Every facile la palabra que es una historia. Some type of history book. Do you believe the words that are in here actually have power? You do not understand the magnitude of its words. Or the power of God, or the power of God. So again, she continues. It says, "Now it's, it's not even. I don't have to bring her any good news. She's on a roll. She's going downhill fast." Ahora yo tengo que darle ninguna buena noticia. Ya son reyes. Jesus this. Ella está sola. Reyes. Jesus that. Ahora vamos a ver los going to treatment. Y los tratamientos. And then last week comes. Y la semana que pasada. So she recovered her hearing slightly. Ella recobró un poquito de este su lado three months ago. O es como tres meses. No Spain, it had to be like a really high pitched sound so she could recognize it. Ella estaba intentando como bien chillido para que escuchara. You know we worked with her. Like it's still a great blessing. Claro, y hemos tenido una bendición. You know we weren't we weren't expecting everything to be recovered right then and there. No esperábamos que todo fuera de un golpe. In fact, it was something. Era algo. It was just a blessing in itself. Era una bendición. So we kept walking with her. We kept going. Se dimo corriendo y orando y habla. Then the the next week she was like, I I can kind of make out what you're saying. So let me read your mouth. Y ella dice la semana pasada yo puedo como entender lo que está diciendo. So she that was the point before she lost her hearing. Y eso fue antes de que el pecho. So again it got better. Otra vez ella estaba mucho mejor. Then next the last week comes. La semana pasada. And I had just finished Tough Mudder. Yo acabé de hacer estos mores que un bebé. Eso es un obstáculo para mi run. Un bebé todo el tiempo. Algo que la gente loca hace. No te preocupes. Y yo voy con mis amigos a comer algo después del evento. Y yo veo que mi mamá me llama. Y 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 mi mamá me llama. Yo por eso es que me puse llamar y por eso me llamó. And that is sometimes again do just to kind of get hurt. Like hey, I'm calling, I'm about to text you. O sea, yo no saco esto para que ya me estoy llamando para luego mandar el teléfono. I'm calling, it's ringing. Yo la llamo, estoy sonando el teléfono. And she picks up. Y ella coge el teléfono. She's like hello. Y ella me dice hello. And I just say hello because I was I don't think she can hear me, but. Le digo hello. This is part of the process. Es parte del proceso. And she's like. Mamo, that's just, don't make fun of me. That's what she calls me. You say mamo, that's how she calls me. Okay, don't make fun of me. No, say mamo, talk to me. I I can hear you. And I said, hey, mamo, you don't want to hear me. I'm like, what do you mean you can hear me? You don't want to hear me. Like I can hear you. I said, you don't want to hear me. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call you back. I'm about to get something to eat. So I love the, I love the phone. And it, it, it didn't register that I was just talking to my mom. So I'm like, wait, what? What is happening? So I texted her like, just text. You just call me. Hey guys, so you just saw Dom preaching at our youth service and his testimony that he gave a little bit, a little, little something of. Um, it's not really his testimony as his mother's, but I, it affects him, so I guess it's part of his testimony as well because it's something that has affected us all um but god is good god is good all the time i know you christian people once i said god is good it's like all the time all the time it's like so what's the word i'm looking for so uh huh no it comes like second nature like every time you hear god is good you just want to be all the time and all the time God is good um, but yeah so that was a snippet of it uh, he did a great job preaching right now I am with <laughs> say hi you like your piano that your grandfather got you Samara Samara hey girl Look, look up here. Look, say hi to our Dungeon Dunnies. Look. She doesn't want to look. She's too entertained with her piano right now. Here we have Daddy Dunstan. So here we have Samara's playpen. You want to know why it's in the living room? Well, because Miss Samara wanted to sleep in our bed last night, so she woke up crying at 3 in the morning. I know she wasn't hungry. Um, I know it wasn't her diaper. It was because she literally, because she would um, hold on to the edge of her playpen because she still sleeps in it in her room. She holds on to it, and she's looking up at us, and she's crying, like crying. Like, she does not stop. And I was like, no, I'm not going to take her out of there because I feel like it's going to become habit. She knows that she knows that if she cries at 3 in the morning or whatever time, that mommy and daddy are just going to pick her up and put her in our bed. And I don't want her to get used to that. At first, you know, I was doing that because she was teething. And, you know, when they're teething, they just want to be soothed and loved. And, you know, they're in pain. So... Like, I would carry her and, like, put her on my chest and she would fall asleep there. Um, and then these past two nights, I've just been like, oh, God, I just want to sleep. Just just put her in the bed. But, uh-uh, I don't want to get that, that habit, uh, that habit started. So, last night, she woke up hysterical you guys like hysterical like crying bloody murder and i woke up daddy dunston and i was like uh, -uh we're gonna take this playpen to the living room because i didn't want to leave her crying in the room because um 
we live in a house, a two-family house, and I don't want to wake up the neighbors downstairs because Samara was crying. So um, he helped me take the playpen to the living room and I let her cry it out. You know, sometimes you just have to let them cry it out because they know if I cry and I do, they're smart. If I cry and I do this, mommy and daddy are gonna do this. And like I said, there was nothing else wrong with her. Like she wasn't in any type of pain. It's just she wanted to be taken out. Because if we would take her out, she would stop crying. So, I'm like, no. Mommy says she's not going to take you out. Mommy says she's not going to take you out. And she kept crying and crying and crying until she finally gave up and fell asleep. Um, but I can't get her used to that. I've heard that that's the worst thing when you get it. I mean, some parents co-sleep. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with co-sleeping with your children if it works for you it, you know it works for you you don't mind your children sleeping in your bed that's fine but i've always said even before samara was born that i don't want that to happen to me like never say never i know because <laughs> one day in the vlogs i'll be like guys remember that time i said i don't want samara sleeping in my bed well here we are she sleeps in our bed every day but i want to try my hardest to not get her into that habit i don't want to be sleeping with my husband and then there's a little toddler that wants to crawl in our bed love samara to death but when it's bedtime it's bedtime and she has to sleep in her own bed or crib um obviously when she's in pain or she's sick it's something completely different but just because she wants to be with mommy and daddy i don't know anyway have you guys ever had that problem with your children that they want to sleep in your bed or you can't get them out of your bed or you just feel bad let me know let me know what you guys did um again it's not that bad it's just been the past two days so anyway <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this vlog um it's not super long but oh i posted on facebook today i don't know who follows me on facebook but if you don't you should follow me link is below um i update you guys on there and on instagram and the link is also down below i was saying that i know that i haven't been posting i've only been posting one vlog a week instead of two vlogs a week like you guys were used to and i'm hoping by november we will be back on schedule um but i explained a little bit of that on facebook and so i mean one vlog is better than no vlog right guys i just you know even if it's just one i want to be able to interact with you guys and just put something up until we get back on schedule in november god willing um yes can i help you excuse me you just touched my arm and now you're gonna ignore me samara yeah she don't care anyway as always we love you we adore you and i will see you guys next week